Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we'll be doing another Halloween Play-Doh video. This time we're making a Halloween ice cream cone, and the toppings are some of our favorite Halloween shapes. In order to make the ice cream cone, we need to roll out some brown Play-Doh, Alright, we're using this Play-Doh to make our cone, so let's use this tool to make a cone shape. Okay, now let's roll out some dark brown Play-Doh, make thin noodle shapes. We need to make the waffle design, so we'll use these noodle shapes to do it. And we just need to make mini diamond shapes to make the waffle design. Perfect! Now I know this looks a little off, we just need to press it down like this. Use this tool to cut all the extra Play-Doh. And look at that! We just made a beautiful waffle cone. Okay, now we need to wrap this cone around some brown Play-Doh to make the cone shape. Make sure the Play-Doh is cone shaped as well. Perfect! Here's a closer look at our waffle cone. Okay, now let's use this extruder to make our ice cream. We'll be making chocolate ice cream today, so let's use some dark brown Play-Doh. Alright, now let me just squeeze out a bunch of Play-Doh strings. There we go! Now I'll use my hands to make the ice cream swirl. Give me a minute. If you're thinking what I'm thinking, this could actually be two things. A delicious ice cream swirl, or a funny poop swirl. I'm kidding, this is definitely ice cream. Here's our perfect ice cream swirl. Now if I got you thinking that it looks like poop, I'm so sorry. Let's put that to the side for now, and make our toppings. We'll start by rolling out some yellow Play-Doh. Let's do the same for the orange Play-Doh. And the white Play-Doh. Now let's stick each Play-Doh side by side. And just cut them off into triangle pieces. If you didn't know, we're making candy corn. A very popular Halloween treat. Alright, here's a closer look at our candy corn. This looks pretty real, and it's super easy to make. Make sure you press in from both ends to make the Play-Doh color stick. Alright, now let's make another Halloween favorite. Jack-o'-lanterns. We have a ball of orange Play-Doh here. Let's use this tool to make the ribs. Now let's press down on the pumpkin. That looks more like a pumpkin shape. Give me a second while I make the other one. Press down. Perfect! Now let's use green Play-Doh to make the stem. Use a star stamp. And let's attach the star on top. Poke a hole right here. Excellent! A beautiful orange pumpkin. Let's do the same for the other one. Now we have to carve our pumpkin to make a face. So let's use black Play-Doh. Make little triangles. Awesome! Now let's make our jack-o'-lantern. Here are the eyes. Now let's make the smile. Here's our happy jack-o'-lantern. Make another one. Awesome! Now let's make one more Halloween favorite. A ghost. Because who doesn't like a good scare on Halloween? Boo! Did I scare you? I think I did. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I did. Anyway, let me just quickly shape this white Play-Doh into a ghost. Perfect! Let's make one more. Now 
Now let's make the face for each ghost. Here are the eyes. And the mouth. Ooh. Do the same here. Alright, now let's insert a stick into each topping. That way they don't fall off the ice cream. Start with the ghost. Now let's add the pumpkin. Here's another ghost. Let's add the other pumpkin. Awesome! These four were a bit heavy, but I think we can just attach the candy corns. Yep. Give me a minute. Uh-oh. Don't worry, I got this. And we did it! We made a Halloween ice cream cone. I'm sure many of you are bummed that Halloween will be a bit different this year, but hopefully this video put a smile on your face. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we'll be making a couple of Halloween themed Play-Doh waffles. One waffle will be more of a classic Halloween waffle, and the other waffle will be more of a wacky one. I'm a huge fan of the wacky themed one, but I'm super excited to share both with you. Alright, let's start by making the waffles. Roll out some brown Play-Doh. Perfect! Now let's use this square stamp. Give me a minute while I make the waffle design. Alright, now let's use this slicer to make a square. Perfect! Now let's roll out some brown Play-Doh. Use this waffle as a template to make another square. Use the slicer again. Awesome! And just like that, our waffle is complete. Alright, I won't show myself making another brown waffle, so let's pop one out. There we go. Now it's time to make our wacky purple waffle. Roll this out. Let's use this square stamp again. Let's roll out some more purple Play-Doh. Make another square shape. Excellent! We just made our purple waffle. Here's a closer look. Let's pop another one out. Perfect! Now that we have our waffles, let's start by decorating the brown waffles. Let's roll out some orange Play-Doh. Alright, this orange Play-Doh will be the waffle filling. Let's make a square shape. Now let's make a waffle sandwich. Nice! Here's our waffle with orange frosting. Now it's time to add some toppings. We're going to use these orange Play-Doh balls to make pumpkins. Use this tool to make the ribs. Give me a minute. Now a pumpkin is a bit flatter than this, so let's press down on the pumpkin. There we go! Much better! Okay, let's do the same for the other one. Make one more. Awesome! Now let's roll out some green Play-Doh. Use this star stamp. Nice! Now let's attach the star on top. Poke a hole in the center. There we go! And our pumpkin is complete! 
Now give me a minute while I finish the other pumpkins up. Awesome! Now since we're making Halloween waffles, we need to turn our pumpkins into jack-o'-lanterns. Let's roll out some black play-doh. Now let's use this tool to make small triangles. Now let's carve out our pumpkins and make a face. Here's one happy jack-o'-lantern. And here's another happy jack-o'-lantern. I went ahead and finished the last one. Now let's make another topping for this waffle. We'll need white, orange, and yellow Play-Doh. We just need to roll it out by hand like this. Do the same for all three colors. And then have the Play-Doh colors stick to each other. Now let's flatten the Play-Doh colors. Just a bit. Okay, now we'll use this slicer to make large triangle shapes. Yep, we're making candy corn. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, now give me a minute while I touch it up. Gotta make sure the colors don't fall off. There we go. And here's one more look at our candy corn. Okay, now let's put all of our toppings on this waffle. Check it out! It's an orange frosting waffle with jack-o'-lanterns and candy corns on top. Okay, now let's work on our wacky waffle. Let's roll out some green Play-Doh. Okay, we'll be making a green frosting for this purple waffle. Make a square shape. Now let's make our waffle sandwich. Check it out! It's a spooky waffle with green frosting. These colors are also perfect for Halloween. Okay, now let's make our toppings. We'll use these balls of white Play-Doh to make a few spooky friends. Give me a minute while I shape this Play-Doh. Do you know what this is? If you said ghost, you're correct. Let's make another one. Here's another spooky ghost. Or friendly. I went ahead and made the last one. Now let's add more details. Use black Play-Doh. We'll start by adding the eyes. Now let's attach the mouth. Awesome! Here's our ghost topping. Let's do the same for the other. Boo! Trick or treat! Was that scary? I don't think it was. Now that we have our ghost toppings, let's make something else. We have three large balls of white Play-Doh. Now let's press down on this blue Play-Doh. Do the same for the green and orange. Now let's roll them out. Perfect! Now we need to use a circle stamp. Awesome! Now let's make black circles. Okay, if you haven't guessed by now, we're making some eyeballs. Let's start by making our first one. Here's a blue eyeball. Add one final detail. Nice! Now let's make our green eyeball. Perfect! Now let's make our yellow eyeball. These eyeballs are supposed to be spooky, but they're actually pretty cute. But that's going to change pretty soon. Let's make a noodle shape with this red Play-Doh. Cut it up. Now we're going to attach these pieces onto the eyeballs to make bloodshot veins. Ooh, hang tight for a bit. Oh yeah, now this looks freaky. Let's work on the green eye. Ew, get it away from me! 
Wow, these red veins really make a difference. Okay, now let's add our toppings onto our waffle. This one's definitely spookier, but it's still really cool. Which one did you like better? It was pretty hard for me to choose, but I lean more towards this wacky one. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. We're pumping out a bunch of Halloween videos because we love Halloween. And who doesn't? Today, we'll be making some Halloween donuts using Play-Doh. We'll be making four different donuts, and here's a quick preview for the first two. I won't show the other two, so stick around to see them all. Alright, let's start by using this brown Play-Doh. We won't roll it out, just flatten it out like this. Now let's use this circle cutter to poke a hole in the center. Perfect! We made our donut hole, now let's stretch it out a bit to make our donut shape. There we go! That was easy! Now let's roll out some orange Play-Doh. Now let's cover the donut with this orange Play-Doh. Give me a minute. Perfect! So we're going to be making a pumpkin donut. Let's use some green Play-Doh to make the leaves. Roll it out. Okay, now let's use this tool to make our leaves. Perfect! Let's attach this on top. Kind of looks like an orange too, but don't worry, it's going to be a pumpkin. Now let's roll out some black Play-Doh. Use this tool again to make our jack-o'-lantern face. Just need to cut out a few triangles and a smiley face. Okay, let's work on this smiley face now. Remove some Play-Doh here. And some Play-Doh here. You guys can get creative with your smiley face, so no need to copy mine. Alright, now let's make our jack-o'-lantern. Attach the eyes. Now the smile. Perfect! Now let's roll out this Play-Doh until it becomes a noodle-like shape. This is pretty good. Now let's cut it in half. This will be the pumpkin ribs. Give me a minute while I finish this up. Awesome! Here's our pumpkin donut. Let's add one final detail. Drill a hole here. Insert this green Play-Doh. Nice! That's the stem. Awesome! We finished making our first Halloween donut. Now let's work on our second one. We'll need to use green Play-Doh. Flatten it out. Now let's poke a hole. Okay. Now let's make our donut design. Awesome! Here's our green donut. Now let's roll out some black Play-Doh. We're going to be making a Frankenstein donut. So, let's use this black Play-Doh to make the hair. Now let's attach the hair on top. Remove all this extra Play-Doh. Perfect! Now let's attach the eyes. And the mouth. Let's give Frankenstein a little smile. Much better! Okay, now let's add stitch marks to Frankenstein. We need to roll out this black Play-Doh, make sure it's a very thin strand, cut it into little pieces. Okay, now let's make a stitch mark here. Nice! Let's make another one here. 
Perfect! Now we'll use silver play-doh to make the bolts. These bolts usually go on the neck, but since a donut doesn't have a neck, we'll have to attach the bolts on top. Let me quickly make one more. There we go. Now let's make some holes to insert the bolts. Here's one. And here's two. Frankenstein's supposed to be scary, but this donut version is pretty cute, don't you think? Okay, now it's time to make our third Halloween donut. Let's use this brown Play-Doh. Let's poke a hole. Follow the same steps as before and make a donut. Awesome! Now let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Okay, we're going to be making a ghost donut, so let's wrap this white Play-Doh around our donut. But not the entire thing. Let's make a ghost-shaped frosting. There we go. Also, won't be needing this much Play-Doh. Now let me clean this up. Now let's make our donut hole again. Perfect! Now let's add some details to our ghost donut. Give the ghost a mouth where it looks like he's saying boo. But you know, if we count the donut hole as the mouth, maybe it's the nose. Now let's make the arms using white Play-Doh. Make a hole on each side. Insert the first arm. Now let's make the second arm. This donut ghost is cute too. I don't think it'll scare anyone. Now let's make our last Halloween donut. Use brown Play-Doh again. Poke a hole. Okay, now let's roll out some purple Play-Doh. We're going to cover our donut with this purple Play-Doh. We'll use this donut to make a three-eyed creature. Spooky! Let's start by making the donut hole again. Awesome! Now let's attach the eyes. We'll be using white Play-Doh. Now let's add some black Play-Doh as well. And that's all for this one. Really simple, right? And this donut's not scary at all either. We made some pretty cute Halloween donuts today. Which one was your favorite? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. My voice is actually fitting for this Halloween episode since it's so raspy. Happy Halloween! But since Halloween is coming up, we decided to do Play-Doh Halloween lollipops. Let's start by grabbing some orange Play-Doh and we'll need to roll it out. And if you're just tuning in, I'm so sorry if you think my voice sounds crazy. I got a little too excited over the weekend and lost my voice. Now we're going to make the lollipop shape. I just made a lollipop cutout using some cardboard. Having something like this will make a perfect lollipop shape instead of trying to do it by hand. Okay, now let me just clean this up a bit. Okay, we'll set that aside, and now let's use some brown Play-Doh. Roll it out. We'll be making a jack-o'-lantern lollipop, so let's use this slicer tool to cut out some eyes, a nose, and a smile. Give me a minute. Alright, got the eyes. Here's the nose, now let's carve out the smile. Alright, let's create some missing teeth. There we go. Okay, now let's attach the face onto our pumpkin lollipop. Perfect! Now let's insert the popsicle stick. Awesome! Our first lollipop is complete. Here's a closer look at our jack-o'-lantern lollipop. Okay, let's make our second lollipop. Let's roll out some dark brown Play-Doh. 
Let's make the lollipop shape. Okay, now I just need to shape it a bit to make it perfect. There we go. Now we have a chocolate lollipop. We'll use the chocolate lollipop to make a ghost. So let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Okay, we're going to be covering most of the lollipop with white Play-Doh. But let's make squiggly lines on the bottom to make a ghost shape. There we go. Now give me a minute while I wrap this up. Awesome! This one looks pretty good. Now let's use brown Play-Doh to make a face. Start by making the eyes. Okay, now let's make the mouth. We're going to make it seem like the ghost is saying BOO! Now let's make the arms. Use white Play-Doh. Let's use this tool to poke a hole on each side. Let's insert the first arm. Do the same for the other. This ghost is saying boo, but I don't think anyone is afraid. Now let's insert the popsicle stick. Perfect! Here's our second Halloween lollipop. I like this ghost one. Okay, let's use brown Play-Doh to make another chocolate lollipop. Roll it out. Use this cutout. Okay, touch this up a bit. Awesome! We'll use this chocolate lollipop to make a mummy. Let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Okay, now let's make the bandages using this tool. Just need to make rectangular pieces like this. Okay, before we wrap our mummy, let's attach the eyes. Add some black Play-Doh as well. Perfect! Okay, now let's start wrapping our mummy. Ooh, I really like this one too. Might be my favorite one so far. Let's insert the stick. Awesome! Here's a closer look at our mummy lollipop. Okay, let's make one more using purple Play-Doh. Let's roll this out. Now give me a minute while I make the lollipop shape. Alright, so we're going to be using this purple lollipop to make a vampire. We'll need black Play-Doh to cover the entire thing. This will be the robe. Let's roll it out. Okay, let's wrap the robe around the lollipop. Perfect! Now let's use this tool to cut out a heart shape. Give me a minute. Add a line right here to make the robe design. Now let's make the vampire's face. Start with the eyes. Now we won't be making a scary vampire. Let's give this vampire a nice little smile. Aww, a harmless vampire lollipop. Let's attach some fangs. Alright, here's a closer look at our vampire lollipop. I want to suck your blood. Just kidding, this vampire is too nice. Let's insert the stick, and our fourth lollipop is finished. I think my favorite is still the mummy one, but we'll take a look at the lollipops one more time. 
Alright, so here's a closer look at the jack-o'-lantern. Here's a closer look at the ghost. Here's a closer look at the mummy. And here's a closer look at the vampire. Yup, mummy is my favorite. What about you? Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Halloween will be a very unique experience in 2020. Not sure how it's going to go, but we are still trying to get in the Halloween spirit. So we decided to make a Halloween Hello Kitty lollipop. In order to make the Hello Kitty lollipop, we need a bunch of pink Play-Doh. Alright, now I have this homemade lollipop template. You can make this at home with any sort of thick paper. Now let's use a tool to make the lollipop shape. Give me a minute. Alright, here's our pink lollipop shape. We need to make one more, so I'll just skip ahead and pop another out. Now let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Now we need to make the same shape as the pink lollipop. Give me a second. Now let's make a lollipop sandwich. There we go. Now we have our Hello Kitty lollipop. But this is a Halloween Hello Kitty lollipop, so let's roll out some orange Play-Doh. We'll use this sheet of orange Play-Doh to cover the lollipop. Give me a minute while I wrap it around. Later, when we make the bite mark on the lollipop, it's going to look really cool. Perfect! Our Halloween Hello Kitty lollipop is looking good! Now that Hello Kitty's signature colors are hidden, no one will know that this is a Hello Kitty lollipop. So let's use this Hello Kitty stamp to get the shape and show some of the pink as well. Let's peel this off. Now let's roll out some white Play-Doh. Don't make it too flat. Now I'm going to put some wrap on top of this white Play-Doh. And now we're going to use this Hello Kitty stamp again. I'm not trying to get a clean cut with the shape, which is why I'm using the wrap. The wrap will help us get more of a rounded shape. Now let's use this Hello Kitty design stamp. Awesome! We just made a perfect Hello Kitty shape. Now let's stick that onto the center of the lollipop. Okay, now give me a minute while I add some color to Hello Kitty. Here's the yellow nose. Let's fill in the eyes with black Play-Doh. Awesome! Now let's use more black Play-Doh for the whiskers. Excellent! Now let's use red Play-Doh to make her bow. Use this tool. Okay, now let's pinch this end right here. Now let's do the same for the other. Perfect! Add one final touch with red Play-Doh. Awesome! We finished making our bow. Now let's roll out some black Play-Doh. It is a Halloween Hello Kitty after all, so let's use this black Play-Doh to make a witch's hat. Now let's shape this into a hat. You can sort of shape it like a shark's fin. Now let's attach the hat onto the opposite side. Don't want to mess up her bow. This hat looks a little off, right? Not to worry, we can use this stick right here. There we go. Now we can make out the brim of the hat. Now let's add some more details. Use yellow Play-Doh. Give me a minute. Wow, that looks much better. Okay, now let's roll out some more black Play-Doh. She can't be just wearing a witch's hat. Now let's make the robe. Use the stamp again. 
cut out just the body portion. Now we'll use this tool to add details. Sort of fan it out and make it look like a shell. There we go. Let's attach this onto our lollipop. Okay, now let's insert the lollipop stick. Perfect! Here's our Halloween Hello Kitty lollipop. Alright, now let's make a bite mark. And here's a closer look. Wow, this looks beautiful. This is really simple to make, so you should try this at home too. No matter what happens this year, let's all try to make the best of it and stay safe during these times. I'm sure we'll find a way to keep the Halloween spirit alive. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. See ya!